Greetings, humans. Time for the uh, FootballDieHards.com weekly injury update, overview, review, preview uh, thing that I like to do. I'm Bob Harris, the secret editor here. Um, and there's a lot going on. Uh, just a couple of the elephants that suddenly entered the room. The biggest one, I usually do these chronologically, but let's get this out of the way. Monday night uh, a game, uh, Antonio Brown has been out of the injury report as questionable for the Steelers for the Monday night game against the Bengals. That's an issue, right? I mean, it's hard to... Uh, you know, best receiver in the game, our top ranked wide receiver. Uh, here's what you need to do. You need to have an option available, right? So uh, if you don't have Juju Smith-Schuster, you don't have Martavis Bryant, you don't have uh, somebody on the other side. I mean, you need to have somebody to fall back on in case he's a late scratch. So do that. That would include guys like uh, Justin Hunter and Darius hayward Bake. I know that's not appealing names. Emergency only. On the other side of the ball, maybe Brandon LaFell or Tyler Boyd. Again, not ideal. Obviously not Antonio Brown, but, you know, there's a trade-off to playing a guy or rolling with a guy who's questionable heading into a Monday night game. It's, you know, your risk tolerance levels are going to be a factor as well as uh, the rest of your lineup if you have a strong lineup. So take that into account. We're not going to know about his status. He didn't practice Friday. He didn't practice today, Saturday. So uh, he's now listed as questionable. Everyone else is healthy. Vance McDonald ruled out uh, for the Steelers, the uh, tight end with an ankle issue. So the plan, they say, is for them to cut, for Martavis Bryant to play his regular role as the starter opposite Brown's spot. If Brown doesn't go, Juju Smith-Schuster, Hayward Bay, and, uh, and Justin Hunter would kind of split up Brown's role. Uh, I would say Juju taking the lead role. Anyhow, uh, so that's one you'll need to be watching for. We'll cover that right up through kickoff on Monday night uh, on the site, as always. Uh, in addition, you know, Eli Manning has been benched in favor of Juno Smith. Other quarterback changes, Jimmy Garoppolo's in for the 49ers. Uh, Trevor Simeon back for the uh, uh, Denver Broncos. One other note, uh, Aaron Rodgers started practicing early today. Uh, still a long ways to go. Not eligible to return until week 15, but they'll have some decisions to make. This is the first step in the process. Read about it on the site. Um, <clears throat> it by no means guarantees he'll return, but he will be eligible to week 15. Moving on to the early, uh, early afternoon kickoffs. We'll start with the Buffalo Bills at New England. You have Jordan Matthews, Kelvin, Jordan Matthews and Charles Clare are both questionable. Kelvin Benjamin's been ruled out. Um, you know, they obviously need all the weapons they can get in this one. The other side of the ball, all good. Uh, you know, Martellus Bennett's been placed on IR, so, uh, you know, there's that issue. By the way, on Buffalo, also, uh, Nick O'Leary's questionable, so the second tight end is questionable as well. Um, Tom Brady's off the injury report. Danny, Danny Amendola's off the injury report. Gronk not on the injury report at all this week, so pretty good shape for the Patriots. Chris Hogan is ruled out again. Still hasn't practiced since he hurt his shoulder. I think it was week what, nine, eight. Uh, it's been a while. Uh, so he won't play again this week. Uh, so Brandon Cooks looks like a great play. Look, Buffalo's defense hasn't been great aside from last week's uh, splash in Kansas City. So uh, moving on, Tampa Bay facing the Green Bay Packers in Green Bay. Jameis Winston is listed as questionable. He will play. He's practiced as the starter all week. They've already announced him as a starter, so expect him to play. Deshaun Jackson, Cameron Bray also listed as questionable. Uh, seems like they're le likely to play. Doug Martin is ruled out, so the backfield will be split up between Jaquiz Rogers, Peyton Barber, who had the touchdowns last week. Not a lot to get him this week. And Charles Sims will be in the mix as well. <clears throat> for the Packers, Ty Montgomery placed on IR. Uh, so he's done for the season. That means a two-way split at running back between Jamal Williams and Aaron Jones. Aaron Jones is questionable. He did practice on a limited basis this week. You wonder if they'll force him back into action quickly. Uh, it's not a tough matchup against the Buccaneers, so I'm still playing Williams and pushing him heavily assuming that he'll get the bulk of the workload in a good matchup. Uh, for the Carolina Panthers, uh, we heard there would be a decision on Christian McCaffrey and Greg Olson today. There hasn't been one yet. I'm guessing before they travel, uh, they'll decide. They're both listed as questionable. McCaffrey with a shoulder, Olson with the ongoing foot issues. Um, he aggravated his foot, but it's just soreness. He didn't re-injure it or anything, and that's supposedly something that he'll have to fight through the rest of the year, most likely coming off that foot surgery. Um, they're both questionable. You'll have to watch leading up to kickoff. Watch the site, too, the rest of today uh, to see if they didn't make the trip. Uh, so that'll be interesting to find out as well. But for now, uh, assume both are questionable and game time decisions until further notice. Other side of the ball, Kobe Fleener's been ruled out, has a concussion. Everyone else is good to go in that one. Baltimore Ravens taking on the Detroit Lions. Alex Collins listed as questionable. Playing very well right now, right? He's started to add some touchdowns to his repertoire. That's very handy. Uh, he practiced fully the last two days. Still listed as questionable. I would expect him to play, um, but that's when you'll have to watch. And, and it's a good matchup. Detroit's run defense is like 24th in the league. Not 
faring very well without Haloti Nada in there. So uh, that's worth watching as well. On the other side of the ball, Amir Abdullah, listed as questionable, did return to practice on Friday, missed Wednesday and Thursday, has a neck injury, suffered last Thursday uh, against the uh, Vikings. So uh, look, hasn't been going great guns, kind of has fallen to flex level, but but uh, that's a game time decision to watch. If he doesn't go, you'll see guys like Zach Zenner, Dwayne Washington, Theo Riddick will play a bit greater role. So uh, tough matchup, tough defense uh, they're going up against for Matt Stafford and Marvin Jones, and who is fared pretty well in tough matchups. He's playing pretty well recently. So there we have that. For the Kansas City Chiefs at the New York Jets, uh, Sharkandrick West has been ruled out for non-injury reasons. Don't know the details behind that, but certainly, you know, it's been a disappointing offense for the Chiefs the last month. So take that into account, but Kareem Hunt maybe gets doesn't get spelled as much and doesn't get pulled late in the game when they're throwing the ball. Might be helpful. We still rank Hunt pretty highly just based on anticipated volume, hoping those splash plays come back, but nothing guaranteed. Uh, although the Jets defense, not like an impenetrable wall. On the other side of the ball, oh, and also Albert Wilson is listed as questionable for this one. He returned last week. I would expect him to play in this one. He's kind of an important piece of the offense. We saw the touchdown last week, but beyond that, he does a lot of little things. Downfield blocking, uh, moving the chains on third downs, not a big splash, you know, high, high profile name, but a guy that's important to the offense. So I'll have his status in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff. Other side of the ball, Matt Forte, questionable again, has the chronic ongoing knee issues uh, he's been dealing with. He played last week through it, so I would expect him to do the same. It's kind of, you know, a three-way split with him, Bilal Powell, and Elijah McGuire, if that's the case. So you'd almost kind of wish that they would thin the herd a little bit, but uh, he has a chance to play. Rashard Matthews, questionable once again. He did not play last week. A true game-time decision again this week. That's probably not a good sign for the second straight week. Uh, you hate to see that, but uh, if he doesn't go, obviously Corey Davis and Eric, uh, Corey Davis and, and Eric uh, Decker, I remember names, uh, would jump into the move up in the rotation a little bit. Delaney Walker would still be the primary weapon. By the way, De, uh, DeMarco Murray missed some practice this week due to illness off the injury report on Friday. So yes, he's still your starter. I have an article on that on the site. Go ahead and check that out. Mike Malarkey doesn't look like he's eager to change that uh, rotation, even though Derrick Henry was so effective late last week and DeMarco Murray has basically not been. So there you have that. Houston Texans at, on the other side of the ball will be without Will Fuller again. Everyone else is off the injury report. That includes DeAndre Hopkins, has a little foot issue. Uh, Lamar Miller, limited by a knee at times. Uh, you saw him hurt it in the last game, but he'll be good to go uh, as well. Uh, Bruce Ellington, also a little limited at times this week. He's off the injury report. Um, uh, Jacksonville, no Alan Hearns, ruled out again. Everyone else is off the injury report, and that includes Leonard Fournette, who should be in for a busy, busy day. Uh, the other side of the ball, everyone's good to go on the offense. The defense is kind of depleted by injuries, of course. So good matchup for Jacksonville in this one. Expect a heavy running attack uh, from, the, from them. Uh, the, for the Miami Dolphins going up against the Denver Broncos, I mentioned Trevor Simeon back in the starting lineup for Denver. Emmanuel Sanders, uh, good to go after dealing, he's dealing with a lingering angle issue, issue, injury, uh, but expect him to play. Came off the injury report on Friday. So the other side of the ball, Damian Williams is out. Sonoris Perry is also still in the concussion protocol. That leaves basically Kenyon Drake is the only game in town at running back. So, I mean, I'm not a big proponent, but you like a guy with volume, right? That seems like a pretty good deal to me. So, uh, you know, that moves him up into the flex range of interest for me. Uh, and if I'm in a bind, maybe running back too as well. Just hope, to, hope for anticipated volume. Late afternoon kickoffs. This is a tricky one here. Uh, <laughs> Adrian Peterson did not practice all week. Listed as questionable with a neck injury. Um, Bruce Arians said he could play without practicing. Obviously, a, you know, a veteran, been around a while, knows how to get ready for games. But you know, it's going to be a late afternoon kickoff and a game time decision. You're not going to know until then. So I have a fallback plan in place. Kerwin Williams had a rib injury. He's off the injury report now. Uh, so obviously, he'll be the starter if Peterson can't go. DJ Foster in the mix, a smaller guy, good receiver. So kind of maybe handle the Ellington role. Uh, but could do more if uh, if Williams is, suffers a setback as well and there's no Peterson. So that's one to watch. Also, John Brown's been ruled out again with the toe injury, so second straight law, missed game for him. The Rams, uh, Lance Dunbar, uh, Malcolm Brown, both listed as questionable. Uh, Justin Davis has been backing up um, Todd Gurley in their, a in, in their absence. They've been out for a while, both of them two games for Dunbar, longer for, for Brown. Uh, sounds like they could both come back. Robert Woods, of course, still out, so... Good matchups for Cooper Cup in this one, assuming that Sammy Watkins draws the Patrick Peterson treatment, which is what people expect. So, uh, like Cup, like the offense in this one, Todd Gurley should be busy as well. 
A uh, late afternoon kickoff with more of them, uh, the Los Angeles Chargers against the Cleveland Browns, entertaining them in uh, Los Angeles. Mel, uh, this Gordon guy, who is he? I, I kind of remember Josh Gordon. Uh, he will start uh, his first game back uh, for the Cleveland Browns. Don't know what to expect except heavy usage. He's supposed to play the full game or somewhat close to that in good shape. He showed good grasp of the offense and practice this week, so... I don't know. It seems like a little reachy to me, but, uh, you know, if you're trying to catch lightning in a bottle, feel free. Um, the other side of the ball, uh, Mike Williams has been ruled out uh, for this one with the knee injury he suffered in Dallas. Nick Novak uh, was listed as questionable, but they promoted Travis Coons from the practice squad today, and he is expected to kick in place of Nick Novak. So get Novak out of your lineup. I don't know if you want to rush Travis Coons in there, but he's been a, he's a little more accurate uh, or ha was this summer. Um, and it, Otherwise, I mean, look, this looks like a good game for Phillip Rivers against the Browns passing defense contra Henry. Obviously, the tight end weaknesses they have there uh, as well. So then we can move on to Oakland against the Giants. Geno Smith starting for Eli Manning. Uh, not sure what to expect. I think the perception of Smith is he's horrible. He's, you know, been productive at times. Uh, maybe better than we, better than our perception. Maybe a better fantasy quarterback than an NFL quarterback. So Ster uh, Sterling Shepard will be back uh, this week. He's off the injury report. So... Uh, Janoris Jenkins will is done for the year, so that works out for the Raiders, except they don't have any receivers. <laughs> Amari Cooper's been ruled out with a concussion and ankle sprain. Michael Crabtree serving a one-game suspension. That you know, that, thins the, that that leaves them pretty thin. You're looking at Seth Roberts, uh, the, who has been the third receiver, now working as the wide receiver one. Cordero Patterson, we all know about his history. I mean, big athletic playmaker, made a great play last week. He'll be in the mix. Uh, Johnny Holton in the mix as well, so... All those guys, Jared Cook might be a great play, and this one is, you know, just a trusted target. But those other guys are, you know, they're going to be in the mix, and they may, they, it's a great matchup. You would love to see it. I think Marshawn Lynch will be busy too. So there we have that. Uh, I mentioned uh, Jimmy Graham also in the Sunday night game. Uh, listed as questionable, expected to play. He's been dealing with the ankle injury all along. It's a tough matchup against the Eagles. Uh, everyone's healthy for the Eagles. Mike Davis will return for Seattle. He's off the injury report, so. Uh, that bodes well maybe for their rushing attack. He showed a little something against Atlanta before he was hurt. I'm sure he'll get another shot. Uh, so there we have that one. It's going to be an interesting game. Uh, two tough defenses, two high-powered high offenses. Uh, eager to see that one. I mentioned uh, Antonio Brown. Questionable for Monday night. Other side of the ball, Tyler Croft's a little beat up. Had his wrist issue. Uh, don't have their official injury report in, but you'll want to check that on the site. Beyond that, uh, hit the site. All kinds of articles and contents up. Brad Cruz's uh, Sit Start Sunday edition is available. Uh, all kinds of good work by Armando Marsal, myself, uh, John Lobb, uh, everybody, the rest of the crew. Read it all. Just get schooled up. Love uh, getting some of the DFS info. All those tools are available as well. And I will be available uh, on the Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio pregame show with Jeff Manns uh, right up through kickoff tomorrow. You can also hit the website. As you know, we'll have real-time uh, updates throughout the morning some early updates on the uh, injury potential for everyone so check it out good luck it's week 13 already playoffs are upon us uh good luck this week uh we'll talk next week thanks